if you ask for negative feedback, the chances of you getting a raise uh, increases by about 70%. That's uh, thanks for the feedback, Douglas Stone and Sheila Heen. So there is a lot of benefit in being able to ask for negative feedback. Also, a, a lot of us, we, we kind of uh, sit at this part where we want to be accepted just as we are, but we also have this burning desire to grow and develop. So that being nice all the time that Harry is talking about is nice, but you know it's, it's disingenuous after a while and there is this need for some kind of developmental feedback. So we need to have that. Um, the, the one ratio I think is really important is just that we've got to, uh, Stephen Covey speaks about this as well, is you want to fill a person's bank account, their emotional bank account. So it is important to fill relationships before you start taking away from, from those relationships. And often that feedback, that negative, or like we like to say, constructive feedback, but it's, it's so, it's, it's never easy to be told that you're, you're needing to improve or something you're doing isn't good. But often that is a bit of a depletion. So if you just go into a conversation and all you ever told the person was, you don't pick your stuff off the floor, you don't do your work properly, you don't contribute, oh, why on earth am I part of this relationship, this friendship, this, this organization? But if I can find, if there's a lot of the building up of the relationship first, and then occasionally there's just, you know, you know I love you, right? But <laughs> there is some points I want to pull my hair out when nothing is ever picked up off the floor. And, you know, it's a bit of a joke. It, it, it makes life a little bit easier um, to have those conversations. So that's what I wanted to say on the one. The other was on, on feedback that you're talking about. And, and feedback, what I would like to focus on here is to get better at asking for feedback rather than trying to get the art of giving people feedback because we are just so bombarded by so much stuff and, and so much of what we need to do differently and without people trying to empathize in terms of what we really needed and obviously they can't that it's that's unhelpful but if if rather we can get better at asking for feedback it's going to make life so much easier for everyone around you because just imagine if i say i'm doing presentations it's really important to me. This is what I'm working on. And so I'd love to know if you think my presentation works, if you've got um, ideas of how I can improve it, if, you know, if there's some kind of development areas. I've now given you permission to give me feedback. I have set up my status. So you spoke about those power challenges earlier between teacher, student, manager, employee. I've given myself power because I've asked for the feedback. So now when I get it, I'm not worrying about all the things that might else that might be wrong with me. I'm, I'm actually able to say, yeah, ask for that. And thank you. It's appreciative now that you've given me that feedback because now I've got something to, to develop. 